Oh my word, we have some markings to discuss ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Hello my guys, my name is Coaster Chow, Dogster Bomb, but built for theme park factual entertainment and welcome to this video. Now today we're going to be discussing something that I've just found on the internet, well on YouTube technically, but CoasterNet, very very good YouTube channel and Coaster website, have done a video saying markings have been spotted. Now, they have said in a comment, someone in a reply, that these markings are for gas lines. So there's no, like, satellite image to show exactly where the markings are, but people who have been at Cedar Point will have probably seen the markings. So, for those of you who need to know exactly where they are, it's around the antique car ride at the park. So, this is in the Frontier Town themed section. And, don't forget the GM, Jason McClure, said that... There was a very exciting future for Frontier Town, and a lot of people now are saying potentially 2022 is the year for Cedar Point's next roller coaster in that area. Uh, so, we're going to take a look at exactly what this could mean, uh, and we're going to be taking a look at uh, basically sharing my opinions on that as well. So, we're going to share a Google Earth image, we're going to share some predictions, we're going to share some different types of coasters that the Cedar Point Park could invest in that could make it different from their usual types of coasters. And for now guys, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a thrilling video. And let's get into this, the Bart News Room update, chatting about Cedar Point. So already on your screen we have the circling of the antique car ride and you can see I've stretched it out right over into the lake area. Now Obviously, it may not use the lake. However, some of the elements that are stretching back to the site could potentially have some kind of outstretched part of the element that will stretch over the lake area. Now, of course, this isn't just one site that's up for debate. Now, a couple of people have said this in the past. Maybe Cedar Creek Mine Ride could be at risk, and they could use the Cedar Creek Mine Ride site and stretch into the antique car ride site. Now, of course, for those of you who need a reminder on what the hell I'm talking about when I say Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Cedar Creek Mine Ride opened on the 24th of May 1969. It's an aerodynamics mine train designed by a guy called Ron Toomer. Ron Toomer is a designer of 11 roller coasters including the Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Some of his other projects include Draken Fire at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, Corkscrew also at Cedar Point. Big Bad Wolf, again at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg. Despacito at Buffalo Bills Resort and Casino. Raging Cajun at Poncha Train Beach. So there's a lot of different roller coasters he's designed over his career. However, Cedar Creek Mine Ride was also one of them. Now, this coaster has a length of 2,540 feet, a height of 48 feet, a speed of 42 miles per hour, and two chain lift hills, and all of that wrapped up into a 2 minute 42 second ride experience. So there we go, that is taking a look at the G Google Earth site, as well as sharing a potential other road that could go down. Now, of course, there's a lot of discussions about what what's the next coaster to leave Cedar Point. And to be fair, I think the main two that seems to be talked about a lot is Cedar Creek Mine Ride and Gemini. Now, Gemini is the dueling uh, roller coasters, which I'll you know talk more about once they're on the chopping block. Um, but Gemini and Cedar Creek Mine Ride seem to be the two most popular types of coaster that seem to get to be next to be removed, basically, from Cedar Point among the enthusiasts. And, you know, I, I, I and, you know, Wicked Twister's in there as well, but I think the two most popular ones to go, I think, are either Gemini or Cedar Creek Mine Ride. So, if Cedar Creek Mine Ride was first to go, this would definitely make a lot of sense. This would definitely put two and two together, even though the markings are reported to be gas lines. It, it puts two and two together, doesn't it? Um, and especially with the antique car ride. I mean, I know Kings Island put in the their antique car ride, um, you know, over the last couple of years. But, you know, antique car rides, it, it's, it, you know, if you want to put in future development, you have to look at sites. And if you've got nowhere else, then, you know, that's your only option. So if you get rid of the Cedar Creek Mine ride and the antique car ride, then you've got a big site to work with a massive massive site and i know a lot of people are saying modern wooden coaster gci maybe they go gravity group like dorney park in 2021 um but most likely for cedar point they'd probably go gci 
A lot of people saying RMC, do a single rail coaster that's like Jersey Devil, a Six Flags Great Adventure, or the new one coming to Magic Mountain next year, and do like an extended capacity one where it's bigger seats, bigger trains, more trains maybe, um, and a longer layout and a bigger layout maybe, and do the world's tallest, fastest, longest, most inverting single rail coaster. Um, maybe that's one route they could go down because they don't have a single rail coaster yet. Uh, they could go down uh, a different route, which is one that's been talked about for a number of years now, and that is a Bulgram Mabiard flying coaster. Now, a flying coaster maybe could be a good route to go down. You never know, do you? Um, I think that a flying coaster would be a great route to go down because it's, the, it's one of the main B&M types of coasters they haven't got yet. So, I think that a flying coaster is something the park's missing, and they haven't really got a flying coaster. They've got an invert, but they haven't got a flying coaster. So, you know, maybe they go down the flying route. So, I think if I was to sort of, you know, mark it down to a couple of options, maybe they go down the modern day GCI, maybe they go down the B&M Flyer, but they could go down the single rail route. Um, so it'll be definitely interesting to see what they do with this. They could go down the Axis Coaster route and they could tie in the Frontier Town theme with it. Uh, and do like this, this theme of like a, a, like metal meets the West kind of vibe. Uh, and have this whole, if they wanted to go down deeper with it in terms of a backstory for the ride, it could literally be this whole Wild West Town, a man on a mission, uses a local barn, wants to test the future and he builds this mechanical device to take out the Despacitos in the West and um, you know I think that you know you could, go, you could go down that story in that kind of storied route and that would make it an incredible ride experience and also an incredible story for a ride experience so maybe you go along the Axis Coaster route or maybe you're not Maybe they don't go with an RMC single rail, but maybe they go down the Intamin Hot Racer route, which is, of course, one of their brand new concepts. So they could go down the Intamin route, like they've done with Maverick, um, which I think I think Maverick's the last coaster that Intamin worked with with Cedar Point, unless I'm not mistaken. Um, or like one of the main thrill coasters, I guess. But apart from Maverick, I think that Intamin could invest in Maybe like the Autodrome concept, I think that would be good, or do a custom layout, but do it in the style of the Autodrome concept, where it's a dueling Mobius Loop launched hot racer. And in that way, you've got a dueling coaster, which would, you know, help put the Fallon nail in the coffin for Gemini. And you'll also have a multi-launch coaster and a Mobius Loop, which is something that Steel Vengeance can't do, because it's, it's one RMC and not two tracks. So... You know, you're kind of killing a couple of birds with one stone here. So, maybe they could go down the hot racer route. You never know, do you? So, they could go down either single rail route, depending on capacity issues and things like that. They could go down the modern day GCI. They could go down the BM Flyer. But I think signs are pointing, potentially, at 2022. And I think signs are pointing very, very clearly at 2022. I think with uh, many, many Cedar Fair Parks, pretty much all the Cedar Fair Parks, uh, nearly, apart from Cedar Point at Kings Island, um, shutting for the rest of this year and reopening in 2021. Um, I think that's saving them loads of money and I think that they'll put that towards future investments once the economy starts getting back to normal and things like that. So, and I think Cedar Point's next big coaster, potentially for 2022, could be the next Drew. I mean, look at parks like Kings Island, you know, I think Kings Island's next coaster isn't too far away. Um, maybe I could see 2024, 2025 being the year for Kings Island next. Uh, and in my personal opinion, I'd like to see like a Copperhead Strike style launch coaster on the Vortex site. So, I think that would be a nice addition. I mean, it's been rumoured a little bit, but I think that a Copperhead Strike at Kings Island on that Vortex site would be the next generation of thrills for that site. So, I think that some of the Cedar Fair Parks are waiting their time, they're biding their time, they're getting ready for investments. Obviously, Kings Dominion, it would, it would make sense for them to shut for the rest of this year to build up the hype for their brand new 40 free spin coaster coming next year on the Crypt site. And, of course, building up the hype even more for the next coaster replacing Volcano, the Blast Coaster on that site around the 2023 mark. And, you know, I think Cedar Fair is just building up investment hype, I think, uh, by closing the parks on the plus side. 
uh, but also it's to try and save money and things like that and with the situation of COVID changing I think that's also a main reason for them closing the rest of their parks apart from the likes of Cedar and Kings Island uh, for the rest of this year so you know the thinking strategically about this but in terms of Cedar Point I think we're looking at a 2022-2023 opening time for this new coaster if it is going to be a new coaster but I mean, to be fair it might not be a new coaster because you know, McClaws did say the future of Frontier Town is very, very bright. And he wasn't wrong from these markings. It could be a coaster. It could very well be a coaster. But you have to think on the other side of things. Could it actually be a full refurbishment of that section of Frontier Town to include brand new flat rides? Uh, a couple of, like a flat rides package to give it that sort of Frontier Town refurbishment treatment? Um, maybe that whole section of Frontier Town is going to get some kind of refurbishment and park improvements uh, either with the new coaster or with some kind of flat package or maybe you remove the antique car rides and build a brand new building in that site and create a western dart ride which I wouldn't be against it would be a fantastic attraction for Cedar Point so Thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news room update on Cedar Point's markings. Like I said, they are gas line markings, so there's no satellite view with the markings attached onto it that I could show in this video. But I just wanted to tell you all the information that I found out, share my predictions on this. If you've been to Cedar Point and you've seen the markings, you feel free to uh, to quote me on everything I've said in this video in the comments below. Um, and it should be interesting. I think Cedar Point's going to be another massive watch for 2022. So uh, thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Chell. Kill on the Coast of Life. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.